past um, is, is something that can be very painful. Many of us may have trauma even in our past. Two extremes in dealing with difficult or painful pasts. On the one hand, you have the people who tell you to put a band-aid on it. You know, just, just, just suck it up, you know, get over it. Yeah, get over it, could be worse. These kinds of terrible things that people say that are not helpful, right? Um, and, and, and sometimes even cultures kind of uh, push this type of, put your happy face on type of attitude, right? Numb it, just appear happy and everything will be okay. And this is a little bit like getting a gunshot wound and putting a band-aid on it. You can't say time heals all wounds if you didn't address the wound. Does that make sense? And so there's that, there's that side of the extreme where, where wounds are not being addressed. And they cannot heal if they're not addressed. So part of healing is addressing the wound itself. And now how do you address it? Well, it depends on the situation. Sometimes it involves getting professional help. It cannot be ignored and you expect that it's going to go away because again, a band-aid on a gunshot wound, it doesn't make it go. In fact, time is in fact going to, it's going to become infected. And then that infection could lead to an amputation. And so, so emotionally, it's the same thing with wounds. We have to address them. We have to heal them. We have to treat them. And then time can heal them. Does that make sense? But then there's another extreme. And that is what I call picking the scab. Yeah? And that's that when something is trying to heal, but what happens is sometimes we get stuck in it. We can also get stuck in our past. And that's another unhealthy pattern where a person is not able to move forward because of this um, being stuck. In, in the past. And again, that's something that's part of addressing it is so that one can, can address it and then can move on. We need to be more compassionate with ourselves. Um, this is something I've recently noticed, especially in speaking with a lot of women. And that is that we are so hard on ourselves. And we, um, that this negative self-talk, I've picked up on this, that there is within our community and, 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 and actually women in general and men as well, we have a lot of very, very negative self-talk. We beat ourselves up to an extent that if we ever spoke to anyone else in the way we speak to ourselves, we would basically sabotage our relationships. In order to keep our hearts healthy, just like keeping the body healthy, we have to be mindful of what we're taking in, intake. Now, sometimes we do this to ourselves spiritually and psychologically by the kinds of things we surround ourselves with. All right? When we surround ourselves with a lot of negativity, when we surround ourselves with things that are not healthy for us, for example, there are things on social media that are necessarily healthy psychologically, they're not healthy spiritually. It's a little bit like sipping poison. So keeping your environment healthy as much as you can, that's a huge part of being healthy internally. Just like you're not going to have poison in your fridge and then expect that you're going to be healthy. Right? That's, that's something you're taking in. So being mindful of what you look at, being mindful of what you're listening to, being mindful of the type of talk, not just self-talk, but what's coming out of your mouth. What's the, what's the kind of, what kind of conversations are you having? Just be mindful of these things. This is all intake into your heart. And so, so be mindful that, you know, your, your news feed on social media, whatever type of social media that is. Think of that like your fridge, okay? You open up your fridge, that's what you're going to eat that day. And it's the same thing with your news feed. That's what you're going to eat that day, but you're going to eat it spiritually and, and psychologically. Does that make sense? Because everything you read, everything you're exposed to, it's like, it's intake. And that, that all goes in, into the heart. And that affects you. So be, try to maybe make it more healthy.